Hey guys, here's an unboxing for the Logitech Wireless Mouse M560 for Windows 7 and 8. This is the black version, and it also comes in light silver. Retails for $40, but it is currently around $20 on Amazon.com. There will be a link below in the description. And uh, let's get unboxing. So here's a quick look at the box. M560 in the top right corner there. Works with Windows 8, Windows 7, unifying uh, USB adapter, uh, deep sculpted contours, Windows 8 shortcuts, hyperfast scrolling, 18 month battery life, and a few other things on the back. So, let's get this guy open. These boxes are always a pain to get open. Okay. So here's the mouse itself. Here's a little USB adapter. Here's the manual that nobody reads. And is that it? I guess that's it. Maybe the battery. Yeah, I think the battery's inside here. So if you just slide this down pull this out of here the battery battery will be activated and uh, the unifying receiver can go in here right in there as such and then you can close this if you want to take it with you on the road so we're gonna take this out and activate it real quick. And you see it's automatically on. I'm going to turn it off for a second and we are going to take a look around the mouse. So, first off, uh, two buttons here, left and right. Everybody's used to that. And uh, we also have uh, the Windows Start Screen and Desktop uh, buttons. So if you click these, it'll go. It'll switch from the desktop to the Windows 8 Start Screen. Um, this is the Windows 8 Edge Menu shortcut button, and I will uh, go through these buttons on my computer in just a little bit. This is the hyperfast scroll wheel. So right now you'll hear it clicks. And if you push it down, it's free uh, spinning, so to speak. Also, there is this back and forward button implemented into the scroll wheel, and that is a back or forward uh, for web pages or for uh, viewing documents or files. And that's pretty much it for the buttons. Um, so let's get this guy hooked up to my computer and I will give you a quick demo. So you want to take the unifying uh, receiver and plug it into your USB port. And you will also want to turn on your mouse. Okay, and this is what you'll see on your screen. So once you plug in your uh, unifying receiver, uh, you may get this pop-up uh, saying that you already have another unifying receiver. In my case, I have a keyboard already. Otherwise, uh, the mouse will just start working, so you won't have to do anything. But uh, I will take you through this quickly. So I will want to pair it with my other unifying receiver, 
um, so I don't have to have two unifying receivers plugged in. So do you want to use uh, one receiver? Yes. And I will click OK. OK, so now I have to remove the unifying receiver that I just plugged in. And just wait a few seconds and you'll notice that the next button does come up. And I just have to click that. And now I have to toggle the mouse off and then turn it back on. And it should pair here in a few seconds. And it does. So now it's paired with my previous unifying receiver. And I no longer have to plug in the unifying receiver that came with the mouse which is very convenient and saves uh, USB slot spaces. And now I can pair another device or I can finish and I can pair up to six devices per unifying receiver, which is very convenient. Here's a quick look at the default controls for the buttons. So we're going to start off with the back button. Now let's say you have uh, a few programs open. Now if you click the back button, it'll bring you to uh, the desktop, so it'll minimize all of uh, the other programs. Okay, now if you uh, press the forward button, it will bring you to the window. Pressing the Windows 8 shortcut. on the right. And the forward and back buttons are for the browser or file documents or whatnot. So pressing forward, back and then forward will uh, do so accord on, accordingly on screen. And you will have uh, the click click uh, by default on the scroll wheel and if you push it again you will have the uh, fast scrolling if you'd like to customize your uh, mouse buttons you can go over here to set point settings and you will notice a few different options for each button and you have uh, other options such as pointer settings, scrolling size, game settings, advanced settings, and your battery status for your mouse, as well as the uh, unifying uh, software. So you can uh, customize it as you wish, or you can restore it to uh, the defaults in case you want to go back. Now to go over a few of the mouse specs, uh, it has 2.4 gigahertz, and it has a laser grade optical sensor, one AA battery for uh, up to 18 months of uh, usage, and a unifying receiver that connects to up to uh, six unifying compatible devices. So here's a quick look around the mouse again. And uh, this is uh, very close to a full-size mouse. I would say it's in between a mini mouse and a full-size. Uh, I know some people have complained that it's a little too small for them. And uh, I will give you a quick size comparison here. Here's a full-size mouse and what it looks like. And here is a mini mouse. So... Put the uh, M560 in the middle, and you can see the size difference. It's uh, right in between these two, so height wise as well. And here's a side view of all three.
The M560 also has uh, some grip here on the sides, which is uh, supposed to add a little bit more uh, comfort, and uh, you're supposed to be able to grip it a little better. And uh, from my first impression, it's uh, decently comfortable, not as comfortable as a true full-size mouse, uh, such as the one that I showed you just a little bit earlier. But, um, you know, it's in between a full size and a mini mouse for me personally and uh, for some other people um, as well. So, uh, thank you for watching, guys. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like the video and uh, subscribe for more videos like this. See you guys later.